the constructed and everything that we've seen so far, I think there's a very, very strong possibility that Harrison Barnes is going to be on this Kings team moving forward. This is just after only 48 hours in the free agency. I do think that the Sacramento Kings will be moving forward with Harrison Barnes as their starting small forward heading into next season and a trade probably being at the trade deadline uh, unless you see where the where, where they're sitting in the standings at this point. And look, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Even with these types of moves, the Kings didn't move I mean, the Kings moved the needle in terms of roster construction. The team did move the needle in terms of I think they'll be a little bit more competitive because of their type of play style. But at the same time, even though I moved that little motion forward up one, I have to take it back like a half knob because we don't know the type of offense that Mike Brown wants to run yet. I mean, we can look at pass, the Cavs. We can look what he did there. We can look what he did with the Lakers and say maybe that's the type of offense that they're going to bring here. But it seems the the every coach that has come here has said, oh, we want to push the ball. De'Aaron Fox, I mean, obviously, if you have a Ferrari, why not go full throttle on that thing? Put that pedal to the middle and let him run. That makes sense. But now you also have this big center that can pass as well. So it's going to be very interesting how Mike Brown utilizes this offense and what their plans are. Because you're not going to see him run a horn set. I don't think you're going to see too many more of those buddy healed hands off to any shooter, whether it's going to be a hurt or anything. You're not going to see that handoff just shoot the ball three. I think you're going to see a lot of off ball movement, and maybe that's why you want to keep a Harrison Barnes. Maybe you keep Harrison Barnes heading into the season so that you can have a guy like Keegan Murray, who most see as a Harrison Barnes type of player, a Tobias Harris type of player, to just be under his wing for the first few months of the season and say, hey, Barnes, you know, we'll trade you at the trade deadline. That makes sense to me too. That That's an understandable approach for this still young team. I don't think they're moved closer to becoming a playoff team with this. I really don't. You see how stacked the West is becoming, especially at the top? The Nuggets giving up Will Barton to, to attract defense, to, to get an Ish Smith. In that deal as well, they're going to get Jamal Murray back, Michael Porter Jr. back. Aaron Gordon already showed that he was really good next to Jokic. That team is just going to keep getting better. The Clippers are continuously getting better. To go get John Wall to add to that team, keeping Zubak. You're going to get Kawhi and PG back. And you got Norm Powell and you got Rocco. That team's gotten better. The Warriors just won a championship. You would think that, I mean, I, I don't think this. But when you have LeBron James on your team, you have to at least acknowledge the fact that the Lakers are going to be competitive. I just don't know where the Kings move the needle in becoming a more competitive team other than the fact that they added better players around their stars. That makes sense, which was three-point shooting, which is what, which is what you need on this team. So, yes, I do believe that uh, Harrison Barnes, his value is probably pretty low in terms of what you can get in return. I think he would have to be a part of a package deal. That's why I think the Kings are going to hold on to him. And if I had to believe it, Johnny, Harrison Barnes is, as of as of this moment, and from everyone I've talked to, Harrison Barnes is going to be a part of the Sacramento Kings heading into next season.